the amount of boxes and random things you uh, the amount of boxes and random things you are stacked on top of right now is concerning to me. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. I know you missed me, but here I am. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel because, you know... You gotta stick it to the man at this point, okay? I feel like this could be a moment for you to assert your independence. Please hit the bell if you want to be notified the next time I post a video, which you don't want to miss that, dude. You really don't. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And even if you didn't, give it a thumbs up. For an, for an ironic twist. twist. And that's all. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul. Honestly, I just feel like last week's video was so intense and philosophical, which if you haven't watched it, go watch it, that this week I just wanted to do the most vapid and superficial thing that I do on this channel, which is clothing hauls. So this is like a collection of thrifted items. A lot of these were given to me as gifts over the holidays and stuff, but I still wanted to show them because I've obviously been super obsessed with them. So to start off, I have been wearing these shoes a lot, which if you haven't seen my unboxing of these, go watch it. If you're looking to buy them, I talk a lot more in depth about them and what they were like when I got them and everything like that. But these are just some naked wolf boots and they're patent leather, but it's vegan. They're not actual animal skins <laughs> and they're just shiny reflective. And I, my favorite part about them is this silhouette because it's really different from normal boots that are just like straight, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I love these. I've been wearing them a lot. And I know what you're wondering, Chloe, what could you possibly wear with these shoes? Like what do these shoes go with? Are you insane? What's going on? And my answer is this, hold up, brings me to my next point. This jacket, okay? I'm not joking around when it comes to thrifted old lady clothes because this jacket is like the epitome of rich old woman from the 60s, okay? Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It has these buttons. Um, I don't know if this is real or not. It makes it kind of uncomfortable to touch it and it smells bad, so. Take that how you will. But it's this brown color and the material is like soft. And I just love this coat so much. I don't know why, okay? And like the sleeves are like this. I just think it's so, it's so like glamorous. Do you know what I'm saying? And this with these boots, like it's such a vibe. I don't think anyone understands. If you want to feel like a powerful old lady, wear this out on the town. I once wore that combination to go to the post office and I got some looks, okay? I'm not sure if they were of confusion and horror or if they were of admiration, but I guess I'll never know. And to me, it's probably for the better. But yeah, that's this coat. I really love it, especially in the winter time, like right now. What I normally wear it over is like a blazer, like an oversized blazer dress type of look. So I'll take a really big blazer. Um, I have this brown one right here. I guess I'll just show it. This brown blazer that I'll just belt and then put this over it. So it's like a brown monochromatic look. And then um, my belt is black. So then I pair it with these black boots. And it's just a whole moment, okay? It's like very rich, old woman, uh, Bratz doll. The category is expensive, okay? That vibe. Which is ironic because this was probably like $10 at the thrift store? I don't know, I don't remember. I'll insert a little TikTok I made of the actual place that we found this jacket at. Okay, this is another piece I've been wearing a ton lately. I wore it in my last video actually, so if you saw it, you saw the top half already, okay? It has this on the front. I have no idea what this is, so don't ask me about it. Um, it says something smash mouth and then letter bomb and then something in a foreign language that I'm not gonna try to translate for you because that would be a hate crime. My favorite thing about this crew neck is the yellow sleeves. I love that they're so bright and obnoxious and annoying. And I also love the ruching on the side because I normally hate ruching like this. Like, ugh. this kind of reminds me of like, you know, bathing suit bottoms, how they used to have the ruching at the back to like make your butt look different. I don't know. 
Don't ask me why I just thought about that. I like it in this sense because since it's so oversized, it just makes the sleeves look even more like wrinkled up and baggy. So it doesn't look like actual ruching when you're wearing it. It looks just more like wrinkles from it being so big. And I love the colors of it because I can style it with different color pants and different color shoes. Like I have these green pants that I might pair with it. Or like if I ever get purple shoes or pink shoes, I really want the purple Yeezy 550s, but they are like $700. Can you tell I've had a lot of coffee today? I'm speaking so fast. Like every time I come around, brothers gather around, I always look at me up and down, look at my, uh. Don't know why I just wrapped Fergie for you, but I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I've paired it with my jeans that have paint on them that I painted because those jeans have like a lot of different colors and this has a lot of different colors. So you smash it all together. It does something, okay? Probably not a societally acceptable thing, but it does something that I like, so. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is not a clothing item. However, I have been wearing it a lot. It's this ring, so it looks like that. This is actually two rings stacked on top of each other, but the ring that I'm talking about is this, but I did not mean to flip you off. I am so sorry grandma and grandpa. Don't know why I just addressed everyone as my grandparents, but here we are. It says Rolex on it, and I know what you're thinking. Chloe, a Rolex ring? What are you, balling now? What are you? Making a lot of money? I don't know. I was trying to find a joke for that, but I physically could not. To answer your question, yes, I am balling. However, this was actually made by my friend Emma out of a spoon, okay? I don't know if y'all have seen that on TikTok, but people are finding spoons at vintage stores and cutting off the actual spoon part, obviously, and then taking the handle part and bending them into rings like this. So this was actually originally a Rolex spoon that she found, and she actually found like multiple. So she was able to make a few rings out of them. It's a cool way to obviously be reusing materials and not creating more waste like that's why i really like thrifting because it avoids fast fashion and how wasteful that can be that whole industry so this is just another way to create reusable recycled jewelry which i think is really cool and my friend who made it for me her cousin is actually starting to sell these rings now she bought her own little machine to like bend the spoons so if you guys want to buy a ring like this there's tons of different options from like a bunch of different spoons that they found but um i'll link the instagram that my friend sells them off of and you guys can check them out because it's a great way to reduce your environmental impact and also have drip And my other ring is just, uh, my mom got this for me a while ago when she went to Mexico. It's just like a little rectangle and I usually stack them like that or wear it like that. But my goal is to have just a full finger of like really aggressive rings. So if anyone knows of any places to get cheap, 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 preferably, preferably recycled, recycled. Rings? 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 I'm down. Okay, here's the last thing I want to talk about, which is also not a clothing item. It's a little bag and it looks like this. There's currently stuff in here and by stuff I mean journals filled with my entire life history and extremely incriminating personal details that if anyone found, I would have to kill. Don't know why I just admitted to premeditated murder on this channel, but here I go. This is a little green tote bag that I've actually, is there a stain on it? <gasps> ignore the stain look at this side that i bring with me whenever i go to work and whenever i go to my coffee shops which is like the only two places i ever go hearing that out loud is so much more sad than it was in my head but anyway it's like the perfect size for the stuff i need and i i love the color this is like one of my favorite colors to wear in style right now and i really want to look for more pieces that match it but the bag was actually made by my brother's girlfriend lexi who is on my channel in one of my other thrift th my other thrift hauls so if you're watching lexi hi shout out she's a fashion designer and she made this bag and another one for me and my mom and she gave us a little slip with the deets on it so i'm gonna read it for y'all it's made of Thick canvas material. Straps are purposefully two different sizes. This is because the thinner strap in the front is made to give the bag a lighter, less bulky look, whereas the thicker strap in the back is used for support. Yeah, here are the two different strap lengths. Okay. Or widths. Strap widths. That is such a hard word. Width. 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 Width.
ignore it chloe move on yeah i just love this bag i use it all the time and if you guys are looking to buy anything at all <laughs> lexi actually has a depop that she sells clothes on that she makes and thrifts and everything like that um and i'm sure if you dm'd her about a bag like this if you want to get one she could whip one up for you okay so yeah i'll leave her information in the description too i just think it's really important for us to start shopping locally and supporting creatives in our lives and in our generation who are really you know working towards something because once that grows it's just allowing our generation to collectively express ourselves and thrive using our gifts rather than having to go work a nine to five to help someone else's dream in someone else's business right just a little reminder to support small businesses and if you guys would like to get any of the things i mentioned below that are from either of my friends you know hit them up so that is the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed it i had so much fun with y'all if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe it is such fun time you get to watch me jibber jabber every week about who knows what um that sounded like a threat but it was actually a offering give this video a thumbs up if you like hauls and want me to do more or don't if you never want me to do one again just kidding still like it turn on the post notification button if you want to be notified the next time i post so that you don't miss it okay because that would just be so disrespectful and share this video to your to your ex-girlfriend ex because, because you know, you know, I'll send her a message right now. Hey, you should just take him back, okay? He made a mistake and he's sorry. Um, so send this video to your ex-girlfriend so she can get to this part and listen to that message and take you back. Send it to your best friend and your hamster. hamster. So um, with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <gasps> my hair is so flat today because I had my hood on because it's 40 degrees in California. Okay, bye. <laughs>